Hey everybody, it is Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for March 20th through the 26th. So last week was a little bumpy. Uh, this week things are looking pretty bumpy too, um, and especially in the world stage. So I thought, let's bring out the big guns, Archangel Power Tarot cards. <clears throat> we'll be using them for the Energetic Weather Report as well as for your personal Archangel of the Week. We've got some very powerful characters on those four cards. Do you feel drawn today to card number one, card number two, <clears throat> card number three, or card number four? So let's get on to the energetic weather report. So Sunday is our first glance of things starting to feel a little bit better, or there might be a light at the end of the tunnel with six of Michael. Six of Michael, breathe, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. <clears throat> Sorry, it is allergy season where I am, so I do apologize for that. Um, so that's Sunday, a, a sense that things are going to get better. Uh, Monday is page of Michael, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. But this is also a card that can indicate getting information in a way that we don't like. So we have to like look past the message and be willing to think about how it helps us, even if we don't like the way it was delivered. <clears throat> This is also a card that says, pay special attention to the details. Now, Tuesday, we seem to be in a sort of a space where we can't make a decision. Seven of Raphael, time to make a decision, be clear about you want, what you want and take action. This card can also talk about detox, if that's something in your mind right now. But I think for most people, it's gonna be that whole sense of feeling like you don't quite know what to do. Now, on Wednesday, you've obviously gotten over that because on Wednesday, the card is four of Gabriel, and it says, time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So this is a very joyful card, very happy card. Now, the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, are uh, major arcana cards, and they're pretty significant ones. Um, <clears throat> And so I, part of me is wondering what we as a planet are going to be thinking about um, come uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So the first card is new beginnings. Okay, so Archangel Jeremiah, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So new beginnings really is a review. It's, it's, it can be like a life review, but it is a, a, an expansive review of what is going on and what to do about that. <clears throat> On Friday, we have perspective. Now, perspective is there's a better way, pause for reflection and insight, dare to be different. This in traditional tarot is the hanged man. Um, this is a card where it feels like time is stopped or things aren't happening. Uh, perspective is a card that is also about seeing things from a new perspective. The world looks different from upside down, so maybe it's time to look at the situations in our personal lives, but also globally from a different perspective. This is also a very charitable card, a card about doing things for others. <clears throat> and finally, on Saturday, we have Epiphany with Archangel Raziel. We kind of like seeing that uh, joy through spiritual growth, being a light to others, answers that come through meditation. But I'm thinking about this from the standpoint of brilliant epiphanies, brilliant epiphanies. Uh, this is Archangel Raziel, a light um, in the darkness. See, a light in the darkness. Now, let's get to your personal Archangels of the Week. I said that there were some pretty powerful characters. If you're familiar with this deck, you know that the Archangels show up in more cards than just the Major Arcana. So we've got some cards that are Minor Arcana, two of them, and two that are Major Arcana. So <clears throat> the first card that came out is Ace of Michael, Ace of Michael. So to me, this was this is Michael at very much in a defensive posture, very much in trying to protect the world, very much the warrior energy that is um, Michael um, and trying to like be the, the, the great guy that he is to solve problems. When for the next card we have 
and I'm five of Ariel. Now I like this too because I think of Ariel as being kind of a really really tough chick, and so uh, um, so she kind of I love her with Michael. They're the two minor arcana cards, and they're together. So the the male strength and the feminine strength, um, but also this card in and of itself reflects that the need to ask for help. So not to do things on your own. Next we have. Archangel, Archangel Jophiel on the decision card. Here we have the birds that are fleeing from the cage, but there's one bird that isn't indicating this sort of sense of energy about helplessness, feeling like you're trapped, feeling like you're stuck. And so Archangel Jophiel lifts up our thoughts and helps us to think positively and helps us to think about things in a way that helps us to feel empowered. And finally, we have the emperor, Archangel Uriel. Uh, Archangel Uriel is the archangel of grand epiphanies that lead to emotional healing that leads to life transformation. So hopefully whichever card you picked uh, reflects um, the kind of energy you need assistance with. I had someone just the other day post um, uh, on the energetic weather report in the comments that they had picked one card but another card spoke more to them so they went with a card that spoke to them more. That's the right way to do this. Okay, guys, that's it. The energetic weather report for March 20th through the 26th. I'll see you next week.